Hello everybody and welcome back and let me show you in this tutorial how you can perform a powerful attack using the B framework and the man in the middle attack framework. Now B framework is basically a tool used for browser exploitation. Uh, it can be right here. Uh, the simple use of that attack or the practical method of that attack is basically hooking other people or hooking other browsers to connect to the page which is running the code for the redirection to the hook.javascript file which then basically uh, creates a, zo uh, an zo a zombie army of all the web all of the machines that are currently connected on the local, ne local network and if there are some browsers on those machines that are outdated, you can perform a various types of attacks on them and actually exploit them. Now, in order for you to run beef, uh, you need to first open up your terminal. You can run it through terminal or through the applications right here. I believe it is sniffing spoofing. Okay, it is not there. Exploitation. Yeah, in the exploitation tools, here it is, beef XSS framework. I will run it from the command tool, so just type here beef minus xss and run it. And what you want to do from here is basically uh, copy this script right here and put it into your Apache 2 website. Now I will show you the entire process right here. Let me just open up the beef. So this opened automatically and the username and password for this page are both beef. So just type here beef and then beef once again. Click on the login right here and you will be prompted with page looking like this. Here you have online browsers and offline browsers. You can read this if you want to. Uh, basically, it is just something about the new users. You can read if you are not familiar with the beef, uh, since we didn't cover it before. But right now what I want to show you is what you need to do in order to hook other people uh, for this type of attack. So you need to let me just zoom in, zoom in so you see it better. Uh, there is this link called the hook. What you want to do is uh, this. So you want to create a simple HTML file or any fake page or basically anything you want which is an HTML file and put it onto your Apache 2 website on your Kali Linux machine or on other machine that you run. Uh, uh, what, what you want to do is include this script which is JavaScript code into that HTML code on your Apache 2 and every time someone opens your Apache 2 web server or website through their Google browser or search bar or anywhere else, uh, they will be running this JavaScript code which will be uh, allow, which will allow us to actually exploit them if their browser is outdated. We will see them in our beef framework on that web page that we logged in previously. So let me just show you how you can do that. So as I said before, your Apache 2 uh, folder is in var, www, and then HTML. Here you have files, basically files that will display on the page once someone types in your IP address. Now uh, for this attack, I will use the Apache 2 on my uh, laptop, but I will show you how you can create uh, the the attack with Apache 2 on your Kali Linux machine. So here we have the one.html file, which I actually want to delete for now on. And what I want to do is nano, so we will create a new HTML file, including the script code. So nano uh, script.html. Now you can call it anything you want. It doesn't matter or actually it does matter, you need to call it index.html, so let me just rename it. So index.html, as I said before, uh, if your HTML file on your uh, web Apache 2 server isn't called index.html, it will not display it. So call it index.html, save file under different name, yes, and now we can write to the file. So we will create the most simple, the most simple version of, um, the, of the HTML file, so just follow what I type right here. Uh, it doesn't matter if you do not understand it, you can basically just copy any page and type add the same thing, which I will show you in just a second. I will just type a small code right here. Here we can add a title. 
which will be test. Now, for those of you that actually know the HTML, this will be very simple for you. For those of you who don't, you will also understand it. It's really not that hard to understand. We just create here the body tag and the head tag. And this h1 represents the header, which we will display on our page. And let's say it says just hello. We close the header with the h1 tag and the slash. And then we close the body header. Or, yeah, the body part. We also end the HTML part. Now, let us save this. So, control O and then control X to exit. Now, we still didn't add the hook, but let me just show you. Uh, or, let me actually add the hook first so you can see it. We do not need to nano the. We need to nano the index.html. And what you want to do is add the hook that you copied from the from the beef framework. So that JavaScript code. Now it is the same for everyone. Where you want to add it, you want to add it to the head tag. So somewhere between this part right here and somewhere between this part right here. So let us add it right below the title. Or we can actually add it above the title. So just type here script. Now this script right here is referring to the JavaScript code and this CRC right here is basically source. So what this page will do is it will source the script to the IP address that we specified to or to the folder that we specified to and it will run that script that it finds there. Now my script is located on my uh, basically on on your own IP address. So uh, what you want to do uh, is basically just check out your IP address first, which you can do simply with the IF config. So what you want to do IF config. My IP address is 192.168.1.7. So what you specify right here is equal then uh, double quotes and then HTTP uh, two dots slash slash and then your IP address 168.1.7. And then you again specify two dots and then you specify the port, which is always 3000. It should be 3000 by default. If it is not, you can change the configuration file, but it should be uh, 3000 for you. And after that, you specify slash and then hook.js, which stands for JavaScript file. So this is the full link. Let me just, why is it? Okay, so this is the full link, and what you want to do right after is close the double quotes like this, and then close the entire script code. So script, and you are good to go. So right now you save this, say modified buffer, and if you can see it, this is the entire code that you need. So you need to put this in this directory right here. So slash var slash www slash HTML and you will be good to go. Now another thing that you want to do in case your Apache 2 isn't running you need to set it to run. So in order to check if your Apache 2 is running just type service Apache 2 status and here we can see loaded active inactive. So we need to run the Apache 2 first. So service Apache 2 start So we started the Apache 2 and now let me show you what happens when someone visits that page. Now as I said I only showed you how to do this. I won't be using the uh, Apache 2 from my Cal Linux machine. I will use it on my laptop where I have Apache 2 running and where I have the same file that I showed you right here on my Apache 2. So it will display hello and it also has a script in the head tag with the hook to the JavaScript file. So, what happens when we visit the web page? So, let me just first open this right here. As we can see, we do not have any browsers connected. But if you type right here 192.168.1 and .15, which is the IP address where I am running the file with the script of a hook. So, we press here enter. As we can see right here, oh wait, I didn't rename it to the 
index.html so just give me a second as i said it had the file that you have in the slash var slash www slash html folder needs to be named index.html in order for it to display it so i renamed it on my laptop and let me just refresh the page and here we can see it just displays hello which can be really normal for a user so he just noticed nothing is happening he can close this right now but what happened in our beef, now we have our browser hooked, which means we can perform any kind of exploitation or any kind of the attack if that browser is outdated. Here we can see browser is Windows NT, Windows 10, Windows 64, Mozilla, uh, you can see it is over Chrome, so basically you just get a bunch of these information right here the host the name ip cpu all kinds of stuff and what you want to what you can do right here is basically just go to the commands and here you have the attacks that you can perform on the browser so here are social some social engineering attacks click jacking fake class pass clippy simple hijacker and some other you can have browser attacks webcam you can unhook it you can play sound there are just too much of these options right here we will not cover uh, basically these attacks i just want to show you how you can hook a browser and you now can experiment with all of this now if the browser is outdated this is a very powerful attack since now you can basically do anything on the target pc there are some of the metasploit modules i believe there is only one right here but there are some exploits right here which you can also use. Shellshock, we covered what Shellshock is. That is the famous command ejection attack. Uh, there are some of the other PHP DOS. So there are just a bunch of these options right here that you can perform. But more about that later. I just want to show you how you can hook a browser. Now, you might be asking right now, so what is the point? We actually, you need to get someone to type the IP address of that machine in order for it to load that page and in order for it to hook to our B framework. Now that's where the man in the middle comes in. So what you can do is basically you can actually let me show you. So let's go to the man in the middle and what you can do. So let's type the dash dash help. What you can do is you can actually redirect everyone on the local network to that website. So let's perform that. I will show you how you can do it. Basically, all you need to do is use Captive Portal. Now, Captive Portal, you can use, as it says right here, be a Captive Portal. So Captive, load plugin Captive Portal, and we need to specify the URL where, it, where the portal is located. So the current URL where my portal is located will be my IP address of our laptop, since there is the JavaScript file that we need in order to hook browsers. So what we need to do is basically just type MITMF minus my minus I for the interface. And then we specify the uh, minus minus spoof minus minus ARP. So we are performing the ARP spoofing. And all we need to do after the gateway, which is, let me just see, 192.168.1.1. We need to specify captive and then portal URL. And then we specify HTTP 192.168.1.15 and that should be it. So right now if I just press here run you can see it is running the ARP spoofing attack and now if I go to my browser and I want to for example refresh this page which is from the previous attacks and I just refresh it uh, you will see that I get redirected to the hello page. Now, this is just a redirection, but in the background, the, it actually ran the JavaScript code from that hook file, and it actually hooked the browser or the PC on our uh, Beef uh, framework. So we have it right here. Now, it is not hooked twice since I already have it right here. But if I were to run it from, for example, my laptop right here, so let me just visit the same HTTP page from my laptop, and you will see it also. Um, appear right here. So I will visit the same page. Let me just go to my laptop and let's go right here. 
And in a few seconds, here is my laptop. As we can see, my laptop is Linux, running Mozilla, Ubuntu, Linux 64, you have some of the options, and now you can actually perform attacks on both of these machines. And soon enough, all of the machines on the local network will start appearing here, since any website you visit will get redirected to this page. Basically, no one, no one will be able to go to any other websites that are HTTP or HTTPS over SSL. They will all be redirected to this page and then their browsers will be hooked, where you can perform a different types of the attacks. So that would be it about this tutorial. Now, I will not be showing these attacks right here. You can just test them yourself. They are not that, too, they are not that hard to perform. Uh, since this is GUI and you just need to type something right here and then the attack will work if the browser is outdated. So you can try that out on yourself. And we will, cry, uh, we will try a few other different attacks before we move to the next tool uh, in the next tutorial. And I hope I see you there. Bye.